Good afternoon, US. Good evening, UK, and welcome to Paranormal Path Peeps. And tonight, our special guest is Gary Bradfield of East Anglia Paranormal Investigations. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you, Jacqueline. How's yourself? Yeah, I'm doing all good, thanks. Yeah, been a hectic weekend, but it's been fun. Yeah. yeah Since I'll... we keep doing doubles at the moment. <laughs> they've, they've gone. They've gone. I'm oh, not I doing no more doubles, no more long weekends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. That one you did last year with Brian J.K., no. It took that me was... over a week to get over. It really did. It was it was absolutely fantastic. It really was. Now, we try. I'm not going to say... We it try. was wonderful. <laughs> we really try. Me and Sharon try our hardest to please. Let's put it that way. And, oh, bless uh, you. We got plenty of good feedback for it, so... That's all that matters. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't even know who he was. Because <laughs> I don't watch the US shows. I thought, I thought, whatever, you know, cause, because it's like, um, went to meet Richard Felix, who, like, obviously I sort of know him a few times from local to Derby Jail. Yeah. Uh, we went to Derby Jail. Uh, we did um, oh, the prison in Rutland, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, then we did the uh, National Justice Museum, which um, is one of my favourites. And oh, well, all with Brian J. Kano, which was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a cool guy as well, you know. Yeah. I mean, for someone, I'm not going to say for someone that's been on telly, which he has. Yeah. You know, he was very down to earth. He very, was. Very, very down to earth. Um, he didn't mind coming up and speaking to you. He didn't mind people coming up and speaking to him. And, you know, that's all we want. You know, at the end of the day, obviously, when we put putting events on like that, that's all that, you know, me and Sharon wanted. And he basically delivered. So. Oh, the amount of stress for you, though. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. I hope everything's coming together and everything. Mm -hmm. It was stressful. Yeah. Very stressful. Um, you know, it's a thing like that. It, you're working on a time scale, um, especially when evening, is that Louisa? Louisa, yeah. yeah. Hi, Louisa. You are working to a time scale, and, um, you know, the slightest, the slightest hiccup, and it throws that time scale out the window. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, but, you know, you, you sort of like, you deal, you know, you've got to make sure Brian's available. You, you like looking after him. Yeah. And then, like, you've got Richard Felix as well. And <laughs> Richard's cool and he talks a lot. So you, you're yeah. just trying to like, manage the time, aren't you, hi, Andy? Um, yeah. And it, oh, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? And then you've got all the guests to manage and the locations yeah, and everything like that. This is it. Are you... <laughs> Was that Irene? Irene, Irene. Corey, yeah. Good evening. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's. Hey. You're. Uh, oh, evening, Kelly. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to get this out. And I'm, evening, evening, evening. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. But yeah, no, it is. It was stressful. Yeah. Um, as it's getting from A to B at a lot of times, you know, and then. B to C for a lot of time, C and so on and so on. And it's looking after it's looking after the general public, it's looking after your your main guests, which was on the Friday and Saturday, Brian Kano. Yeah. And, and then Saturday afternoon, it's looking after again the public, making sure they're okay. And then you're looking, making sure that Brian Kano's okay again. And That's not only it. that, you've got the you've got the the added pressure of making sure Richard Felix is okay. <laughs> yeah. <and I'm, laughs> then I'm in the background trying to sell his books and oh you know. gosh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, his videos. <laughs> yeah. Stressful. Um, would I do it again? <laughs> yes. Go on. When you're doing that. <laughs> oh, no, it's not, it's not yeah. in the pipeline. It's not you, in the pipeline. You've got a lot on, you know. You've got a lot of other things um, on as well. So, yeah. This year we took a break from 
from the big celebrities this year. Yeah. Uh, we had the big celebrity last year. This year, all the big two celebrities, if you this or you want to put it, because obviously Richard Felix and Brian J. Kano. Yeah, massive. Um, but this year, we've, we're doing it. Uh, well, no, we brought Parafest back this year. Awesome. So, and um, I'm honoured to be a guest, um, invited to be a speaker. Yes. So I'm you really looking that. forward to that. Um, um, yeah. So it's, thank you. It's, it's, and this is, it's not going to sound, it's not, and don't think I'm being detrimental or horrible to any of my speakers. I'm grateful for each and every one of them. But it's bringing it down to the, like the general public. Get out there where they're, I think with big events when you've got superstars, uh, so called yeah. superstars, the general public are scared to go up to them and talk to them. Whereas, yeah. oh, whereas Parafest, uh, it's you know it's the everyday person i.e yourself david young we've got there wayne we've got yeah. a, a, a Neil. and then hazel Ford. hazel yeah and it's not taking nothing away away from them them five people um they're all good at good at what they do oh, and I said, no, I, that is why i want them to be speakers at this year's parafest oh, bless you. it's just that Hi, Jeanette. Oh, yeah. It's just that I feel it's bringing it back down to earth. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's a good location. Um, it's it's yeah, absolutely lovely. It really is. Evening, Ian. Um, it's a brilliant location. And on top of that, if you go for the VIP, which we have still got tickets for left, obviously, um, you get to listen to five good speakers. You might even get to listen to me if we, we've got time. Oh, bless on you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd normally run with about six speakers in the past, but I found it again that was very time consumption. It was yeah. this one, this one, this one. Oh, it like, is, yeah. Whereas this, uh, this year I'm running with five speakers, so there's going to be more time for people to walk around the farm and even in the next um what more time for people to walk around the farm during the day because there's yeah. a, lot, a lot that can be missed when you do the investigation of a night so it's nice to have a walk around the farm of a daytime but so you get if you go for the vip you get to listen to the speakers in the morning obviously you can walk around the farm and then you get to do the investigation of the evening till 2 a.m so it's an all day basically from a Quarter past nine, half past nine, right through to two a.m. in the morning. Yeah, it's so, such a wonderful day because I, um, I was a speaker at your last Parafest, hmm. and it's a scorching day as well, wasn't it? Yeah. But I was just um, chatting to everyone, so I didn't really get a chance to like look around the buildings hmm. or get no, photos, which I do a no. lot of. But yeah, again, when we're when again when we're there which is quite lucky. The bikers, the bike show is going to be on as well. So oh, wow, you can have the brilliant. bikes there. Um, you can purchase day tickets, which enables you to just go and listen to the speakers. And if you don't get a VIP ticket, I would advise you to do that because as I said, in, they're all good and good and they don't mind being approached. It's oh, a good way true. of, well, you don't. It's, it's, it's yeah, I mean. that's it's right. Yeah. It's a good way especially during the day when it's daylight and everybody it's a good way to network oh gosh definitely you yeah know, different people even different people i've met i've done this is about my fourth parafest now oh wow bless you and yeah. the different people that i've met that i and i thought i've never actually met you before and now i'm actually to, i've seen you on facebook and i'm friends with friendly with you yeah facebook, but i've never met you face to face and start chatting and then they sort of like go well, i've had this little idea and he's like he's sort of like, yeah it's not a bad idea it's not bad that and then you sort of like do you mind if i nick it and tweak it a bit and i say no just you know go ahead and you know so yeah it is good way of yeah. networking and it's a very very good 
It is okay. wonderful because last time I met Wayne for the first time, I met Mark Manley mm-hmm. because I used to do a show on Haunted Antiques as did Mark Manley. So, mm-hmm. it you know, it's great to finally meet him. And, yeah, you, do, you kind of feel that you get to know people as well. Like, there's people like watching now, some I've met, some I haven't. Um, and you kind of talk to them in the background. You might talk be a messenger, whatever. And mm. when you get to meet them, you already know them, don't you? You've already yeah. broken the ice. Yeah. So it's really, it's special. Like, mm. I met um, Leslie Hudson from uh, Team Spirit Paranormal the other day. Mm. And it was just great to meet her in the team. Oh, here we go. And here's Wayne. You know, I met him at the Parafest hey, last time. And, yeah, Wayne's another speaker. And it's just going to be an excellent day. I can't. I really can't wait. Yeah, uh, so we got that in. It's, it's all on our. It's all on our pay, you know. That's uh, tenth of January, February, March, April, May, June. It's June, yeah. It's June, yeah. Tenth of June, yeah. yeah. And then we're back again on the twenty third of September. But that's not a parafest. That's just a just yeah. an evening event. But uh, but it is such a great location. I've been yeah. there twice now. Oh, 10th of June, Wayne, well done you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I know it's June, it's in my diary. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm just, that, see? My other secretary is Wayne. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't he? So organised. <laughs> I should have looked there, it up. There I am going, there I'm going January, February, March, April, May. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's June and yeah. But, you know, I've got everything booked, so... You know, going camping and you know, sort of out the accommodation and everything. So, all good, dog sorted. So, it's yeah, fine. And yeah, I mean, you can even stay overnight. You can camp on camp on site. You have the, yeah, you have that's to, right. You have to book through them. You can't book the camping through me. So you have to book through the farm. Yeah, church farm. There you go. Three days after his daughter's birthday. So that's uh, why Wayne. Wayne remembers the date. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason for that. So, hi, Terry. Hope you're well as well. But, yeah, you, it, it, it was just a lovely time last time. And, you know, just to meet like-minded people. Yeah. You know, people of our egos. And you just have a laugh with them. And Wayne got that absolutely cool photo <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, in the summer house. Yeah. So, some weird, weird and wonderful activity that night. You know, yeah. that the summer they say it was a summer house. We had the light going overhead, and nobody could work out what it was. Yeah, it was that was going, interesting. Yeah. That UFO sort yeah. of, yeah, um, interesting. very interesting. I mean, but it, it, it's one of those locations. It never, well, for me, it never fails. It never fails to give you something. Yeah. So. But it, it's such a strange location. Okay, so for anyone in the US or UK who don't know, Skegness is your typical hor- holiday resort with yeah. amusement arcades, uh, sort of low-end shops with all the, um, yeah, <laughs> old, boys with hank- old boys with hankies on their heads. Yeah, all, all your old traditional sea- English seaside, and that's what it is. And it, Yeah, it, it is really low market. And you've got a housing estate, and right in the middle of this housing estate is a plot of land. <laughs> I used to go there every week <laughs> for another reason. Okay. M- M- Mum and, like, uh, and Dad like har- caravan there, so we used to go and play in it when we did the markets. But yeah, so I know Skeggy really well mm. from when I was, you know, just like, yeah. And, you know, but right in there, there's an oasis. There's like, there's some land. And it's got some buildings in it. And some of them have actually been moved brick by brick there as well, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. Which... The old um the old white thatch cottage that wasn't ori- that's not originally there. They actually yeah. moved it because they were gonna where the where it was located, it was gonna be completely demolished. So they moved it literally brick by brick. But it it's absolutely amazing what they've done, isn't it? Mm. And, you know, it's called Church Farm. So you think, oh, a farm in the middle of a house in the state. But it's you, it's a museum, isn't it? It's a farming yeah. museum. And you've got, like, different farming implements and then sort of the beautiful buildings as well there. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah the, old, the old big old farm. Because I think 
if you actually look on the, the old maps, it was that area was was a farm. If All you right, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it's got smaller and smaller and smaller because of the housing estates and Gosh, people. Yeah. Um, but they've they've managed to it's just they've managed to keep hold of that little bit of plot of land and they've still kept it as a farm. Yeah, not and it's a, just wonderful what they've done. It really in, is. As in name, not as in a work. It's not a working farm. It's just a farm. As in name. Yeah, that, that's what confused me at first because I thought, well, how have they got a farm right in the middle of a house? <laughs> and you, you know, you expect to see all animals there, yeah. but it, it is just in name now. And but yeah. it. It's it is an oasis, and the volunteers are amazing, aren't they? Just keep oh, it a, going. It, it, it is an oasis in the middle of nowhere. Well, not in the middle because it's in the, in the middle of our <laughs> yeah. house. I'd have to go one better and say it's just a little gem. It is a little. It is gem it's fantastic. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and um, right when I go camping as well, I like to camp there. Like I've camped there before. You know, not mm. not well. Yeah. But yeah, if I want to stay that way, then I'd go and camp there because it is, you know, it's a wonderful place, isn't it? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you sort of um, have to go and use the facilities, which are right, <laughs> one of the outbuildings. So, yeah, there's that as well. So, yeah, just such walking a great past, place. Right. Walking part, I think they're right past the house, isn't they? The facilities for the camp. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's joined on to the, yeah. the house, uh, the just around house. the back. So, yeah. Right near to uh, where Wayne got that photo of the summer yeah. house. So, yeah. yeah, it's all right, you know, just uh, walking uh, around some <laughs> to a bunch of property in the middle of the night. It's great. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And it is it is so quiet. And, yeah, they've got a little orchard as well, haven't they? Um, yeah, that's all it, out the back. I mean, it, it is, yeah. The little, I think the pavilion, again, that's another the pavilion that Wayne's got that picture from. That's another building that was brought in. That's not original to the farm. I think that was brought in from from the actual seafront. Yeah, I did. It was a skeggy seafront, you know. The, yeah. the I think it was actually brought in from skeggy yeah. the seafront. Again, yeah. it was being dere again, it was nearly derelict and the council were Got rid of all the graffiti and everything. Yeah. <laughs> council weren't going to do nothing, so we, they decided to bring it all the way into there. Yeah, but yeah, it's you know it's such an awesome location, and how you found it, you know, it, it is. Were you one of first to like go there, or I, no, no, no I it was how it come about. I think it was. It's a bit like every, every bit like most locations, isn't it? On you know, someone on Facebook advertises it, and then you think, oh, that's only up the road. Yeah, and you go and visit. Um, I will go and try it. Um, the trouble is with where where me and Sharon are situated, or the API is situated. Yeah. And I'm going to be really crude. I'm sorry. Are we over the dead? Well, no, I can't. No, you're in. It's afternoon in the US. <laughs> We're sort of like like this side of the UK. Yeah. We'd say David. They they call it a part of the human anatomy of England. Okay. That's right, the okay. way to put it. Yeah. And, and your roads are really like little A roads, you know. Yeah. And that's the thing, like you're sort of Norfolk direction, aren't you? Yeah. Suffolk. So, well, like yeah, like East Anglia, yeah, Norfolk, Suffolk, Norfolk, Suffolk, yeah. 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 So the the roads are just like oh, it's hard work. Mm. Like it's well, hundred it miles. Some... It takes us literally a good hour to an hour and a half to get into the middle of like the middle of England to go up or down. You know. Oh way, yeah. It's like um, it's. I think I looked at the map and I think it's quicker for Wayne to get from Essex to Skegness than it is for me that lives further north. To get yeah. from Suffolk to Skegness, you know, it's, it's crazy. But. Yeah, it's your road, so because you it, like a single carriageway, so then you get stuck behind a tractor or a potato vehicle. <laughs> I've done that before. I've been to Norfolk. I got got stuck behind this huge wagon with potatoes yeah. for absolutely miles. Yeah. 
there's so many yeah. accidents around that stretch of road and you kind of wonder why don't you <laughs> it's only so long you want to stay behind this potato wagon and then like anything on the main road oh it's two and a half hours colchester to skaggy yeah so well, yeah yeah so you're about and that's mine's, a long way colchester nearly, yeah. mine's nearly nearly touching three yeah. two and a half to three hours wow so yeah. rain's going rain's further down than what we are and still does it in the same this time so yeah i'm about yeah. eight well, about 80 miles i guess it's mm. well, so. approaching two hours to be fair so it's not too bad yeah because the roads the roads for me aren't that good because yeah. they don't have a motorway so it's the a roads so yeah they, they just don't have a road network that side yeah. the country do they to be fair you know Right. Let's get hold of the government. Make make better roads. Yeah, that's it. Cause like I went to Sheffield, like what Friday night, forty miles, but it's all motorway. Yeah. It doesn't, you know. Or then Haunted Antiques is thirty miles. Well, that's all motorway, so it's easy to get to these places, you know. But then Skegness, yeah. like, ooh. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's wonderful. And then like sort of uh, have the day and then you sort of have some free time don't you to yeah. go grab some fish and chips yeah we so sort it's... of stop we stop move around about three three yeah between yeah. three and four o'clock yeah that gives you some free time to go off into skegness if you want to <laughs> skeg vegas yeah, yeah. <laughs> go to vegas, vegas and uh, have something to eat yeah to be back I'll be back at the back at the farm for uh 8 p.m start and yeah. that's when the vips get a chance to investigate with the guest speakers and, uh, yeah, so. yeah it was it, you know it's so lovely last time and the weather really helps yeah. because you are walking between the buildings but obviously you, you know you have got the buildings that you can go into so mm. if it is horrendous at least you know you can go between the buildings but yeah last time it was oh my yeah. gosh it was a scorcher wasn't it i've been lucky evening carl i've been lucky with the parafest that we've done there they've always been nice weather so uh, fingers crossed <laughs> fingers crossed this time so i mean we picked a, a relatively good month to have fine weather so yeah that's right yeah um, i've got another well I have, i'm working on next year's one but uh oh be, wow yeah hopefully it, hopefully i'm going to bring it down south a bit further this <clears throat> next year yeah that's it. I've, got to, I've got to find a location but, uh, oh well i'll have to keep an eye out on that and uh, yeah. yeah so i have to get the dog in kennels so yeah so. yeah and i have to go camping somewhere down there so yeah all good yeah there's, there's so many places down south though there are everywhere but i don't know the south area you know i hear of them but it's just out of my yeah, yeah. it is it is at um it's trying to bring i say bring, i'm bringing it down south but i want to try and bring it to a, a centralish location you know i don't want to sort of like a, oh well it's you know next year's parafest is going to be in you know Norfolk and um, this is where you know because it's going to be out yeah. of the way I want to try and make it accessible for everybody you know yeah that's right yeah you know so, so yeah that's in loads the of places so yeah no, that, that'll be something I'll be working on after para once parafest is over I'll be working on that one yeah there's yeah. so much organization like I spoke about last year's you know the organization it was crazy yes um, well we, we were talking offline it was before we went on the air it was, it was very stressful last year's one very yeah. stressful um it's making sure as i said to you earlier on it's making sure you get from a to b at a certain time yeah and uh, you know it's making sure that your guests are happy yeah you know you're making sure brian was happy we was making sure on the saturday we was making sure richard was happy yeah you know, <laughs> and, you know and i can't be me and 
and I'm going to say this we have a very big open heart. I can't, especially with the part the one we had last year. I couldn't have been myself if I didn't have a good team behind me at the time. Yeah, you do have um, a wonderful team. You really do. Um, and I, yes, I take a lot of recognition for EAPI. Everybody thinks, oh, you know, straight away they go EAPI. That's Gary. Um, but if it wasn't for Sharon, yeah, you know, I can go to these events and be myself. Oh, bless um, you. Because Sharon does the ticket inside, doesn't she? Sharon does, yeah. A lot Sharon of it, does, yeah. Sharon does the ticket inside. So straight away, you know, there wouldn't be an event. Because Gosh, yeah, it, definitely. You know, there wouldn't be an event. If it, if it wasn't for Sharon selling tickets, there wouldn't be an event. So straight away, you know. I don't do none of that. Sharon does it. Yeah, um, sure. Sharon will go on a normal run of the mill event. You know, like we'll, we'll take us, uh, we've got one coming up in 23rd of September. It's just been advertised, which it's yeah. getting us again. Church Farm, yeah. Church Farm again. Sharon will be going to me a week before. Um, do you need a new shirt? Have you got this? Have you got that? Oh, bless you. you. Need this? And she makes sure that I don't have to worry about the ins and outs, you know. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I love and that. When we did the big one last year, oh, um, gosh, Sharon yeah. was literally, she wasn't on my case, but she was saying to me a month beforehand, right up to the run-up um when we was actually leaving making sure i got everything i needed so if i was literally just you know i could go and basically do my job and be myself oh yeah without no worries you know um, that, that's good yeah because you want to enjoy it as well you know you've yeah. invested a lot of time and energy and you yeah, of course, you're kind of worried in case something goes wrong, but yeah. you have to. It's like when you organize anything, you just want you do want to enjoy it. Yeah, but yeah. I love that, Mr. and Mrs. P of the Paranormal. <laughs> Mr. <and> Mrs. Paranormal. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> so, Eric Eric asks how much the Parafest is in the UK. How much is the Parafest in the UK? It adds his 50 pound VIP ticket. Um, so that gets you to listen to his speakers yes. and then um you've got the night investigation as well well uh, or it's 25 pound for the day ticket which is just to listen to the speakers um i think eric's in america isn't he yeah he is. yeah yes he's on about coming over to the uk yeah at one stage so um, yeah, but we'll advertise it anyway, and you know I'll put it on here afterwards so that we can find your team and everything. Yeah, yeah um, it is. Just trying to find. You've got a lot of sellouts as well. I'm just going through trying to yeah, find it yeah. on the thing. And, yeah, well, yeah. Most, most of our events, events coming up are, are sold out. Um, we've got a few. I wouldn't like to say how many VIP tickets we've got left. Uh, oh, bless you. We've got many. Um, but we have obviously the new one that's just gone up at Skeggy. We've, yeah. we've, we've still got tickets on that. Which that's is 30 pounds. 30 pounds yeah. 30 pounds for the night. Just got them up. But you've got, wow, you've got Gresson Hill Farm and Workhouse. That looks an awesome location. Yeah. Uh, Wees Beach yeah. Castle. You went there at the weekend, didn't you? Yes, Wees Beach Castle went there at the weekend. It's another, uh, looks that's good. A, another little gem in the. In the right in the middle of Wiz Beach. And uh, May Haunted Antiques. Yes. You go in there, place to know kind of well. <laughs> yes, so, I'll go and, go, and scribe, go and scribe my name and number back on the on the door again. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, I was God. looking at mine yesterday, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Eric says it's cheaper than, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, like, they do sometimes have these events and it costs, like, £300 for two, three days. And they yeah, get these, so. like, really um, expensive speakers in. And, you know, I've been to these and they're, they're brilliant. 
and yeah. you meet para people and at the para first we're going to meet some amazing para people and i'm just so honored to be a speaker so yeah really looking and, forward to it yeah i mean yeah i mean it's a bit like last year we all got brian kane i mean he was wonderful yeah yeah so so yeah <laughs> i could I could I could possibly do a parafest over here and get some big named big name speakers coming. Yeah. But then if I get big name speakers in, my prices are gonna go up go up through the wall. Exactly. Yeah, that's because right. I'm gonna have to pay for you know, I'm gonna have to pay for pay for the speakers to speak and I'm gonna have to put them up in a hotel and Exactly. You know, and it's it's all gonna it does cost so price. much it really does you know and if it boils down the ticket then it'll boil down to the, how much the ticket prices are cost luckily yeah. enough luckily enough and i am grateful for each and every single guest speaker again this year at Parafest. Oh, they've all said they've all said no they will give their time for free because it is a charity run skegness is a charity a charity run place and that way because the guest speakers have said they'll give their time for nothing i've been able to keep the ticket prices low yeah. you know so you know, you guest speakers suddenly decide oh well you know i want you know blah 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 plus i want you to put oh, me gosh, up blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> then my ticket prices are going to go blah 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 blah, 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 blah. So, wayne's going to message you after gary oh no <laughs> <laughs> now, there's no money in the, no money in the pot, mate. Absolutely no money in the pot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just honoured, you know, to, to be given the opportunity. And um, last time, like, I think I had about three weeks' notice and I, I put something together. And, oh, no, uh, and, I was... and, like, oh, wow. And, like, I can't do that speech again, which is a shame because it's actually, it's moved on from there. I'm still, it's... you know, I'm still having experiences yes. on that but i can't mention that one this time so i can't you know if i go and do a speech somewhere I else i can use that one yeah. but now i've got to do something totally different <laughs> but yeah all sorted i know what i'm doing yeah but yeah it's so cool you, Nigel. yeah yeah and was, Nigel's from North I, was, um, <laughs> I must admit i was very naughty the last time you you spoke <laughs> it don't matter why <laughs> Oh, giving you all the three weeks notice to come up with a uh, something to talk about i blagged it it's all good <laughs> oh, yeah, i think you more than blagged it i think you more than blagged oh, it everybody, bless you. everybody was sitting there enthralled i mean and you've got plenty of people asking you questions i don't think you yeah and um, the thing was like i mentioned um, a specific character around nottingham which i also mentioned and um <laughs> I, I think you saw um, the impact he has on me when I was at the Galleries of Justice. Yeah. Can you remember when I walked in and I got taken straight out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I've got this character around me, which, yeah, I'm going back there again soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I need protection from people because it, it's just, oh, dear, he hates me. <laughs> but I know why more, because I've done a past no, life of since then. Hi, Charles. But, yeah. So there's a character in the uh, National Justice Museum in Nottingham who've uh, got a bit of an interaction with on my past life and um, through my investigating. So, yeah, it's an ongoing tale, which I told that was um, the subject behind my speech, really. And the fact that one spirit was in like four different locations of the centre of Nottingham and different people would find him, you know, while investigating. And, yeah, it's a different angle. <laughs> Yeah. but yeah so we're gonna, yeah you go i was gonna just throw this completely in another direction that's all i was you. as well <laughs> you go <laughs> so, yeah, i was gonna ask you yeah, because obviously you being a dabbing your hands in the photography world as you do yeah yeah, yeah. what's your thoughts on photography at investigations and what is in it well, well I, mean, I, know, have... I know my thoughts and i know the procedure that i would go through if i was taking photos 
yeah, well, I um, helped out on a teen night last night and I did mention photos and suggested, like, all the teens, like, if I want to get a photo, you, te- you stand in exactly the same spot, same lighting yeah. conditions, try not to move the camera and take three shots, up, you know, one after another. And then, you know, you check for any differences. Mm. Um, I um, I did find that my camera, it, it kind of did um, a thing where you take a photo and it gets, like, three seconds footage with it. And right. I don't know, you could kind of what I, my other, I don't know what setting it was. And like, I managed to get this photo and it had a mark in it. I thought, oh, I've captured something. But then when you watch the video, someone moved a hand. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I, but you know, yeah, and that, that was yeah. good that you'd got that like video which said, oh, you know, straight away yeah. it, th- it flipped. Yeah. But um, I am a keen photographer. I've done, been doing photography, well, taking photos since I was about 10 um you know I'll go on holiday like when I used to go on holiday when it's film cameras I used to take 20 rolls of 36 exposure it's cost me a bomb when I got back okay you know and oh gosh you look at the photos now and oh dear they're not good it's all digital now isn't it it's, yeah. It's, yeah it's just, just, just I was just wondering they could say I mean I've yeah. stopped making I've stopped a bit I've actually stopped taking photos because I was, I'm in a similar frame of mind as you. You got to take free photos. Yeah. In you know, so uh, if you're in a room or a house with six six rooms, you're taking three photos a time. You take ten ten pictures in one room. Yeah, that's right. Soon adds, soon adds up, and then you've got to go through all that footage when you get home. That's yeah. That. And if you've got CCTV as well <laughs> running, you've got to go through all that, and so. I stopped all that. I just go in, you know, I go in on my own. I just was just wondering. Yeah. Oh, dear. Like, I, you know, I've done photography and I've, I've taken thousands of shots. You know, like I've also said I've had this camera maybe two to three months. I don't know how long the S23 has been out, Galaxy. And I've taken 2,000 shots already. And... I just can't help it, you know. Is I don't. Is that, even... is that two thousand shots on investigations? No, no, just no. generally, just in That's life. I might, have even, I might have even got a photo today. Have I? Oh no. I was going to say. Oh no! Just... Just, last night's last shot was a picture of a doll. So yeah, I've got yeah. some, but but the ones I got last night, they were like I just took them. They were just. I wanted. To, I always do a write up, so it's just to like put with that. But I, I place the photos on there, and somebody's actually picked something up from one of the photos, and it's you know it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, I I, I don't. I, I, it doesn't bother me take people taking photos, taken by all means. Oh gosh, it yeah, matter. but it's as I mean, evidence, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, but, uh, it's been able to prove. <laughs> me personally, because I'm a lazy, lazy brick, I'm a lazy <laughs> investigator. Oh bless you. I I, I can't be bothered to. Um, go to an investigation, take 180, 180 odd photos, then come home and go through each and every single one of them again. Yeah, um, and I have trouble with video because I don't want to hear myself. Mm-hmm. So, I've, you know, I do do live feeds and stuff, but I can't listen. Yeah, <laughs> it's awful. Was, I mean, we was old cool. Sorry for listening quite... to me, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sharon were quite fortunate because we had a bloke called Alex he used to work with us and he was uh, he was heavily into EVP work and video oh, wow. work, and we would do uh, an event wherever we was going, public event, whatever. And we'd always tell the public we was going with CCTV, so they knew. And they'd be running from seven o'clock to two o'clock in the morning. Now you're taking taking into consideration <laughs> four CCTV cameras. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gets home, he's li- he's watching them again three times. So uh, each and every single camera, oh, make sure wow. he hasn't missed anything. And yeah, you you've got to get the concentration for that, and I haven't. Oh, yeah. I, I can't sit there and I can't even watch TV because I just get I just pick you up my phone and start know. messing around with it. I can't. I did try. I did try <laughs> because because he said you're going to have to try, and I'm like. No, there's nothing on there. Yeah. By the time I got off, my eyes are like, 
Yeah. Fast forward that. That looks yeah. boring. <laughs> yeah. My eyes are streaming. Oh, gosh, 600 yeah. cups of coffee later. I'm still like... Oh, no. No, I can't. Oh, dear, I couldn't. But, yeah, but, like, I've got thousands and thousands of shots, you know, the, the old film camera from holidays. I take, like, I've been in a photography club as well, so they call them record shots. So, you know, you've got a photo of a beach, you've got a photo of that, you know, they're just photos of a time and place, basically. I, I used to avoid portraits yeah. as well, generally, but I do take a lot of um, selfies with people. <laughs> oh, dear, can't be helped. But I do tend to avoid, like, being in a camera when I'm doing a live because, yeah, you don't want to see me. Quite. Yeah, Quite <laughs> hide behind it. I, the reason I did photography was to hide. Yeah. So basically I wasn't in the photos and everyone else was. So yeah. it's all good, you know? But yeah. But <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, like of all these photos I've got, there's only like two or three which may potentially be paranormal. Yeah. And I can't explain. Uh one was yeah. at Warwick Castle, what we tried to debunk because I went back there with MJ a couple of years ago. At, it, they're like 13 of us and MJ Dixon and um, yes. it's where I first met Gary Fields and um, I went there and I, I took three photos in a room and the first photo was blurred because it's handheld low lighting conditions with a DSLR the second one was less blurred and the third one was clearer guess which one had the um, thing in it last one yeah the clearest one <laughs> it's usually the most blurred one isn't it yeah because you see all the evidence on these pages and yeah. it's like it's just so pixelated and so zoomed in it's like what are we looking at you know it could be anything oh there's like you know there's um yeah. something there in a bush looking at me and it's like yeah leaves you know yeah. but then they're just like it's... make it bigger and bigger face wow <laughs> Oh, or it's the old famous red circle, isn't it? Oh it's yeah, there, yeah. You, you've got you've got to draw the red circle around it, yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. No, but right. yeah. So um, yeah, I did go back to um, Warwick and mm, don't know. Not sure. Uh, you know, you don't always know. Um, but I have um, Louisa was watching earlier. Um, Louisa Winfield and Ben Winfield. And I went to Derby Journal and I got a photo and um, I got a little creature with them. And it looked like a little owl. Oh, and right. then uh, when I went to uh, do that with National Paranormal Investigators, um, Claire could act, Claire could actually Claire Evans could actually see this little creature hanging around with them. Ooh. They still have it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and it's an awesome photo, and it's like a little owl creature. <laughs> And it's not paradigm at all, because I took, th I've got two photos that time. And in the one that that appears in, there's like a mist. And then it was there. Yeah. So I just got two photos of two people, really. I wasn't even trying to get evidence. And that yeah. happened, which is cool. It's always the way though, isn't it? But if I meet them again, I'll have to just take shed loads of photos of them. <laughs> just to see if I can catch this little... Um, creature whatever he is it's so it cute a little owl. but yeah but you know like as i said like i've just taken so many photos and nothing and like there's photos where you can get a blurred person walking through yeah. you have a long exposure you know you, you shut us open it's dark like i posted on a uh, matlock pavilion and there's two photos where you've got a blurred figure yeah it's a great photo of um, Luke, you know, I say, you know, as soon as I took it, go, oh, Luke, look at this, you're a ghost, you know. Yeah. People will actually use that as evidence. Oh, yeah. Actually, mm. oh, dear, I mean, I've, it's I've, rubbish, isn't I've it? Debunked, I mean, I've debunked many a photo people have sent me. Oh, I know. Yeah. As soon as it's got an it nice. on, it's like, oh, no. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, I, I, you know, there's one photo, it's at a, an event, and I, I took... Uh, two photos of the guests and um, there was activity in that area salutation in Nottingham and on the third photo one of the guests says can you step into the photo spirit 
it's got an orb on it, hasn't it? <laughs> so I'd taken photos all night on my DSLR. No orbs. And then I've got a white light. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. It's one of them, like, automatically, oh, moisture in the cave, whatever. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. You've asked for it and you've got something. Mm. I don't know. You know, it's just one of those, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that, yeah, that one Wayne. Oh, come on, we tried to debunk it. And I was actually staying there as well. And, you know, oh, I, I, one, went, yeah. I, went the, I went the next day in, like, all different lighting conditions. And, yeah, I, I couldn't get a shadow there, you know. It, it was weird. Mm. But, yeah, it's a good photo. That one the Skeggy was, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Um, leave a motion sensor camera in a room alone with no one there. Yeah. Good idea. I, yeah. I, I want one. Yeah. It, good it's idea, brilliant Eric. because um, I've started mm -hmm. trying that telephone um, experiment as well. Well, one which Viv first did. Oh, yeah. And she did yeah. it at Codna. And um, yeah. I tried that at a couple of locations. And I did it at Matlock Pavilion two weeks ago, and yeah. I've got I've got these uh, tubes, and it's like they've got little cat balls that they act like cat balls. So each oh, yeah. tube well, is just well, yeah. light, and they were like flashing. But for some reason, I set the I set the phone up, speak, and we get went into a totally different room, and the uh, lights were flashing, but my camera had moved. And yet you set it up right, so it worked yeah. right. You know, it's facing it and everything, but it kind of moved up a bit, which is a shame. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's one of them, isn't it? But it's weird yeah. because on that experiment, like, mm. I was talking and straight away I got a voice back. I thought, well, that's feedback. But no, mm. the rooms were too far apart. So, oh, yeah, I did. but then when I recorded, we went back to recording. Nah, it wasn't my voice, so it's weird. Mm. I mean, we had a, a, a weird experience at Whiz Beach, Whiz Beach Castle on Saturday. Oh, and wow. um, there was a group of eight up upstairs in the main house, and we could hear a voice outside in the garden. And it was, hello. Can anybody hear me? Help. Can anybody hear me? And I'm not going to say, but it was identical to one of the people that were there. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, me being me, once I've heard the help, I've gone running from upstairs down the house. Yeah. And I'm in the garden and I'm expecting to see this person. Yeah, asking for help. over, laying down somewhere. Yeah. Couldn't see him. Hmm, this is weird. So I went went to the canteen, and this is where it gets really weird. I opened the canteen door, and the person that was the voice was sitting yeah. in the canteen stroking a cat. Oh wow! And you had two. There was two more volunteers on site that were in the cafe. And I asked this person, have you moved? And they went, no, I've been sitting here stroking the cat. And the both volunteers went, that's where that person's been sitting. Oh, my moved. gosh. Because I've uh, seen a photo of said person with cat as well, I think. <laughs> no, eight yeah. People, eight, oh, people, wow. eight people in the same room heard that voice and all said it was that person. Wow. That's, that's amazing. It really is. Now, was we what we was doing? Obviously, we was doing an experiment upstairs, as we you know we're all investigating. Oh yeah, that's print. right. So, was we getting too close to the truth, and you're getting a mimic spirit yeah, calling out to, to break the break the circle and break the energy? Yeah, that's right. I don't know, but it seems to me that's what. I, if I was to hazard a guess, I would say that's what would happen. That's what happened. Yeah. Oh, spirit is. Oh, it's so intelligent. Yeah. We um, had it at Matlock Pavilion where as soon as somebody set foot on the premises, it made a beeline for her. So she got this energy around her. So went to a stage area, which is a bit lively compared to the liveliest place of the location, basically. 
So we sat on the stage and we sort of circled this person on a chair. And we knew we shouldn't break the circle. All of a sudden, there's an automatic crash up the side of the stage. Something fell over on its own. You know, yeah. it, it, I think it was something like glued onto the wall and it came off. So the circles broke instantly. People started running, screaming. <laughs> and then this thing like rushed through a medium as well. Yeah. And oh my gosh. And, you know, oh, you know, oh dear. Very, it, it is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. I think that's why we do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I mean, come on, I mean, we must be, at the end of the day, we must all be mental. Because the amount of times we sit in a sit in a cold freeze oh, for eight hours, for eight hours, and nothing happened. Yeah. And then you sit there for another, again in the same property, and you might sit there for four hours, and every everything kicks off. Yeah. <coughs> That's the reason we do it. But do you ever find that? Abs I always find something happens. I'm not saying it's mega. I might get a flashing cat ball. I might get. A little k2 proper k2 interaction i'm not right. saying my phone in front of it setting it up for the wi-fi but you know after obviously doing the checks mm -hmm. i always find i might get something tiny you know what i mean what i can't debunk yeah that but we kind of want bigger and better things now don't we we're just yeah. greedy <laughs> well, this is it isn't it At yeah day, this is it we are greedy we are you know, greedy yeah you know, when well, <laughs> When I first started out, um, if I went on an investigation and I got a couple of knocks, I was well happy. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. I've had interaction, I've had two knocks. Yeah. But now, I don't want the two <laughs> knocks. Yeah, we want something more, yeah. I and, want something else. And it, isn't it bad, like, you sort of say, like, you know, say spirit, like, it needs energy and everything else. So there's the spirit, you ask it to do something. It does it. Can you do it again? <laughs> Make sure yeah. it's it. It's yeah. shocking, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the first thing like... you do, isn't it? It's the first thing you say, isn't it? Spirit, if you're here, yeah. can you knock? Yeah. And you get that knock and you go, wow. Can you prove that's you? Can you knock again? <laughs> yeah. And they go, oh, for God's sake. I've yeah. <laughs> already done it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or you get yeah. the, the other one. The other classic one is... You get male, male or female. It doesn't really matter. They're in the room and they go, "If you are here, spirit, can you prove you're here? Can you knock?" And they get this almighty knock. They scream and run out the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that is what you're here for. Well, Why exactly. Do you run out? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, like it. Yeah, it, it went a bit mad at Matlock Pavilion, but. We didn't we didn't run it was more the shock you know what i mean like yeah. I, I think i just stood there like a muppet it's like what the hell because everyone like people that side yeah. right near where the thing fell were like running at me and the someone jumped on the girl on the chair to protect oh God, it's carnage yeah. but my insurance as well it's like oh my god if someone falls off that stage <laughs> it's like no yeah, don't break this stage, it's my yeah, insurance. Yeah, watch it. Yeah, I've just yeah. taken the insurance out because I've just started like hosting events again. It's like, yeah. oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> my first time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dabs in rods. Ask it to open if spirit there or close it if it isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then I do that out of frustration, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. nothing's happening. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah, it's, it's all the classics. So you could go on forever, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you know, but it, is, it is funny, and to, you know, and it's it's always like weird when you go into a location and you get the first vigil, and it's like, especially if you haven't like, I, I do tend to meet up with people I know from Facebook, mm. and I have generally worked with them before, but it. It's always like the settling down, isn't it? As soon as you go in location, and you're sitting there with yeah. probably some people you don't know that well, and oh, you think, oh, is something going to happen? You know, yeah. <laughs> but then yeah. you just get into it, and it's like, oh wow, it can be. Um, yeah. interesting. It's like sitting there, yeah. We, this was, right, okay. Like these, these are the groups, and then group one will go somewhere, group two will go somewhere. 
you get in the room and you're going well come on is someone going to say something yeah. yeah we've only been here 10 minutes and no one's asked the question yet yeah yeah i went on a public event and there's this bloke with a camera who wanted to show everyone his old pictures every five minutes oh, God, no. so not only are we trying to investigate he's using his flash all the time <laughs> So once again, this is Matlock Pavilion. Then he gets on the stage. He says the battery's gone. <laughs> uh, thank F for that. I said I couldn't. Mm -hmm. It came out a bit loud as well. <laughs> you can't wonder, hey, oh, you've been doing all night. It's fresh, fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think, oh my God, there is, you know, finally. <laughs> mm. But yeah, oh God, you can get some really annoying people, can't you? <laughs> yeah, but the worst of it is when you're running public events you've got to rise above it oh my gosh yeah that's definitely yeah <laughs> i know it's like how to control yeah um i had a recent one where a few if you had booked on for a birthday and they were going because the ones who birthday it was wanted to be there yeah the rest were mm. thinking it was more of a party yeah and then we have to swing that with like people who are actually serious. Like, oh no, just trying to juggle that. That was that was an insane night. It really was. <laughs> oh, that that gave us a headache. It really did. But, oh yeah. wow. Yeah. We had a wonderful people. Oh you. wow, yeah. Not you know event. straight away though, don't you? Like, yeah. you know which group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you yeah, split. Okay. If you split into groups and you with that person that would be here, you're screwed all night, aren't yeah. you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> truly, yeah. you know, you try and sit the, in the corner out of the way of that energy, but yeah, yeah. it's the it's the, uh, one, it's the um it's the total skeptic. Oh yeah. Yeah. The total the hundred not the hundred percent skeptic, it's the yeah. hundred and fifty percent skeptic. That's right. Yeah. And then you know what I mean? Are you a believer or a skeptic? Oh, I'm a believer. You a believer or a skeptic? Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm definitely a skeptic. I don't believe in any of it. Well, why are you here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I go, well, I want proof. <laughs> Full bodied apparition, please. <laughs> on order, on demand. And then, yeah, then I'm racking my brains in. You want proof? How can I, you know, how can yeah. I, if you're, to, if you're a total skeptic? Yeah. No matter what I put in front of you, you're not gonna. Yeah. Or what happens, you're not gonna believe it anyway. And the spirit ain't even gonna bother getting there because they're not gonna no, believe it. Then, so then the, then it's not gonna group, waste the energy. Yeah, and then the group that you're with that night are getting nothing all night because you got this 150 percent skeptic oh, God. that hasn't got an. That's the worst ones. The 150 percent skeptic that hasn't got an open mind. Yeah, they that's just. That. I'm a skeptic. Yeah, and they're, yeah. Dra they're dragged along. Uh, yeah. I've got a few comments, so I'll just catch okay. up with these. So, um, Eric, the one where people get scared and run out of room is one of my faves to see. Another one is, you ask if anyone there, you get the answer, me, and you go, who's me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Andy, um, I think we all can be shocked when some of the things that we ask for actually happen. But to scream or run out of a room is really daft because you ask, yeah, exactly. So, like, the spirit, whatever, makes all this effort to do yeah. something. That's right. Like, admittedly, Matlock Pavilion, it wasn't a very pleasant energy. <laughs> it's totally right, though, at um, the end of the day. It, it just caught people out because something fell out the side of a stage and it was all mighty crash. And we think right we just think it was some sort of cardboard sign on a wall but the amount of noise it makes because you know you're more sensitized to listening for things aren't you yeah and then that comes and like <laughs> it's like what but you know we we didn't run right you know we just <laughs> broke the circle and that probably caused more trouble but because one girl was actually physically sick over that one oh, the one nice. who got the spirit run through her so you know it was not really quite vile what she no. uh yeah cause she thought it was a bit earthy and um th thousands of years old sort of spirit a bit mm, a bit dodgy that one. Nice. 
<laughs> so, uh, Wayne, well, you know, it's worse with pa people that are under the influence of alcohol. That's what I had to deal with the other week. Yeah. Or the powder. We had this a couple of weeks ago when filming at Kelvedon Hatch. Didn't last very long after ruining part of the filming. And that's yeah. it. And uh, it's, oh, it is a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, you know, my advice for anybody, anybody out there, public, that are going on events, if you're going on an event, don't drink. Gosh, that's right. That's and it. Certainly don't, uh, I'm going to say the word, don't be yeah. drunk. Well, no, that's it. You know. See, the, the whole when, point is going and using all your senses. Yeah. So anything what, like, you know, gets well, rid of some of the sharpness, what's the point? Yeah. One year, get one year danger to yourself because these places we do in the dark. Dark, rickety, yeah. Dark and rickety. So one, you yeah. know, you're the infant to bring, you're a danger to yourself, and not only that, you're going to ruin it for everybody else. That's you know. That's, that's right. I mean, it's shocking. You we, know, we have got a, we've got a policy on board uh, EAPI, and if we think that anybody is under the influence, <laughs> they don't go. They don't get in. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You don't get in. That's um, right. You, you just it. don't, you don't want to have to manage it. No. You know, you don't want them there. The other guests don't want them there. And yeah, you if know. you want to, if you want to do that, then, you know, you go around bars or something, yeah. you know, you do it every other Saturday. So yeah, if you don't, if you want to do that, go to the nightclub and do it, you know. Yeah, that's, that's right. What nightclubs are for. Yeah. You know. But. Oh, it's just people, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah. yeah right. that, that's it. Like, yeah, I, I, I sometimes like I my drinking. Like, I used to run a pub, so I used to be good yeah. at drinking. Yeah, <laughs> now, I, now, I now I hardly drink. You yeah. know, obviously, because I'm driving every Saturday at least. So okay, yeah, well, I hardly just, drink anything. You know, Andy's put there. Have a drink by all means. I'm not telling anybody not to have a drink. No, uh, you know, but after, not when you're investigating because not, you need your senses. Or during an yeah. investigation. Well, that's yeah. it. You just need all your senses, don't you? Yeah. And, you know, if you want the full experience, then, mm. you know, you want to be in a position where you're as sharp as possible. Yes. Yeah. So you can, like, pick up what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, putting stuff in the bin. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Hiya. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a quick ciggy. Oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, hey. So, um, Wayne, as well, yeah, Andy said, yeah, it's fine having a drink after an invest, but not yeah. during. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, right on cue, look. <laughs> um, we noticed one of the two guests was a little overhyped, but couldn't do as asked. And she kept wandering off and entering a controlled set. Oh, God, how disrespectful. Oh, people. Yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah, it can be so annoying. And that's it. You're just meeting different yeah. people, aren't you? And you don't really know what you're getting. I no. guess you're happy when you've got familiar faces booked on <laughs> because you know, like, they're just going to go yeah. on and get on with it. Yeah. Rather than, um... I mean, luckily enough for, for us, I mean, we've got a, a reasonable following now. So. We yeah. can trust each, each, each and every guest now. So, yeah, that's cool. You know, we, very, we do get obviously new people coming up, coming along, but they would, you know, yeah, that's we've right. Got our regulars. Well, you have, yeah, because I've met met a few on sort of the mm. events I've been on, and yeah, you're meeting mm. a few of my friends as well. Um, yeah. Va Vana yeah. thinks coming to the um, haunted antique, so yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that that'd be a good event for you. Yeah, been there before, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be as good as the last time we went. So yeah, it's certainly active at the moment. Yeah, we mm. we had um, a cabinet open three times yesterday mm. in the war room, so it's been changed round as <laughs> as it I'll always get is. <laughs> okay, lost so, it. <laughs> um, I don't don't know what it's like last time you went, but. Yeah. It's all upstairs now. Yeah, kind of so, thing. Yeah. Upstairs, we went upstairs through the, <laughs> trying to work it out, through the medieval where the night is. 
<laughs> yeah, well, the medieval bit is now uh, the base room. Mm. So it's all changed, but yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Some new ideas, so yeah, you like it. And, I like uh, anywhere. People say that's, that's the thing, isn't it? People go to me, and you haven't actually on the show, but or or, or any guests haven't no, either. No, um, where is your favourite location? And please don't ask me that question. Yeah, you know, you know what is your three favourite locations? wherever i go they're my favorite locations because every yeah. single location gives you something different something of course new. it does yeah you, you, you know, get that, new right? memories from them don't you yeah, yeah. i think like, there's one called grassley hall what's like a holy old cardigan the mm. fact that it's familiar you know what i mean it's like here we go it's like yeah. your little traditional haunted house it's got history you know some of the like some of it might have been built from stones from a former monastery. It was used by um, a miners' welfare, mm. you know, as like officers. And but yeah, you know, you got you got little characters who live there and they show it's themselves, and it's nice. It's. I mean, well, I say, I mean, yeah, obviously, I've been on in, in, on shows and I've had to answer it, and it's very hard because, as I say, they're all each location. Yeah, yeah. Hard. So I then, you, I mean, they, each look to me, each location gives you something new. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's one another good reason why, as investigators, we go to we go to locations and we have to be on our toes because it's, it's going to bring something up new. Yeah, you know, that's right. You know, you, you're always you're always learning. You're always learning. Yeah. And 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 yeah. every investigation has its own special moments and should be yeah. remembered for that. And yeah. that's right. You know, like I, I try and do write ups when I go somewhere. Okay. And I know somebody like kicked off at me going, Oh, why haven't you got that vi video? Well, you know, I'm just documenting what happened. If I get a name and someone else gets it, that's brilliant, you know, and I'm doing it for myself. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not bothered if someone says, oh, you don't do it right because you're not doing this, that. There are no rules, are there? No, there isn't. You just I mean, do what you're drawn to. Yeah. I mean, and there's no proof anyway, is there? No. I mean, you can go, on YouTube, go on YouTube and put, put the API in, and we've got videos on there. Some of them are eight hours long. Eight, oh, eight, wow. eight hours. Right? Gosh, on YouTube. Right? Well, I'll check now, some of them out. <laughs> if, if someone turns around to me and says, well, you're not, you know, you know, Oh, you're doing it right because you're documenting. You're documenting your investigation. Eight hours. Yeah, that's right. You know who who on YouTube is going to sit there for eight hours and watch a complete? You know that's right. It, it's like earlier on, like I mentioned, um, how like with like you you've got to have a skill at listening. Like if you're looking at evidence, you've got to be able to listen, to watch, and yeah. pay attention. And then you get the YouTube where they've got like five seconds, whatever, and they've got a voice. Yeah. And they type what it is. Well, yeah. if you didn't get that typing of saying what it is, then you wouldn't That's have it. a clue what it is, would no. you? No. And what's oh, how awesome. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> You'll have to rewind it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just for you, Wayne. Okay. Wait, Wayne, it's your turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. 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 Straight away, your, your your ears are looking, waiting for that, whatever. But you haven't heard what's going on five minutes and five minutes either side. Yeah. Because it could be, you hear that word, there might be not, might not be nobody talking for that five seconds, ten seconds, whatever. But it could be two people in the room having a normal conversation. Yeah, off camera. that's, it. that's and, right. Well, for every... For me, like every bit of evidence, you need the story. You need to believe the storyteller. 
you need to be able to trust them. Yeah. So it's all very well getting evidence of that happening. Like yeah. I wrote it down, I documented it. This is what happened. Um, Sarah, who was there, um, a wandering spirit, she's mm. written something slightly different. Mm. The, the events are the same, but what happened was from a different angle. Yeah. You know, there was oh, a crash, yeah. this happened, this happened, but she was affected one way. I think that happened she, because we don't know. We, we're just trying to work out yeah. the best we can of, you know, trying to piece things together like yeah. a jigsaw. And we're not experts and we're just, yeah. how, so, you know, yeah. how do you do it? And, yeah. um, you there's know, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. There's plenty of people out there that like to think they're experts. Oh, don't, don't <laughs> get me started. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and like Andy, um, it says there's no rules regarding investigation. You get what you get. Others might get a bit different or totally different but it's not necessarily a right or wrong it's nice to get yeah. confirmation of what you're sensing and also when when i was at um the parafest and i was speaking i mentioned this character at the robin hood legacy in nottingham and people started nodding on one of the rows going yeah yeah i know him and wasn't it nice that i'm talking yeah. about spirit and they mm. recognized who was talking mm. about and that yeah, was so awesome. So we've got a nice question here from Kate. Thanks for joining us. So, okay. Gary, do you know the village of Brook sandwiched between Bungay and Porringland, Norwich? It's an interesting village full of history and legends and ghost stories. Would be hmm. great to investigate there. Hmm. Now, actually, I'd have to look it up because I'm going to I'm going to put and speak the truth. No, I haven't. I've heard of Bungie, obviously, because I'm only up the road from Bung from Bungie. Oh, so you're not too far Brooks. then. No. Thank you What's for that, it? Kate. I shall have to have a look into that one. Yeah. But oh, you, you got some amazing uh, villages in Norfolk, haven't you? Yeah. We've some I don't know. I spoke to somebody once and they heard we're going to Norfolk. So there's they wanted us to go and find somebody's gravestone in one of the cemeteries. <laughs> So, you know, you've got these beautiful churches, haven't you, dotted around in each village. And we're just trying, trying to find this person's gravestone. This is gospel. The trouble is around here. You, you approach locations. Right? And yeah. they go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it gets to, you think, yeah, right, lovely, great. Especially when I, we was just doing it as team locations before we was going out doing public events, yeah. we team locations, and they say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, no problem, yeah." And we book in to do an investigation. You come to a, a week or three days to the run up to doing the investigation. They'd phone up and go, "Very sorry, but we're actually doing something. We've oh. double booked, and the amount of places around here to do it. I'm sure they're scared." <laughs> I'm sure, oh I'm actually sure they're actually scared of having people yeah. there. And that's it, the thing, that's it, you're just going to invite demons, aren't you? That's that, you know. Yeah. They're just going to get like, yeah, <laughs> things thrown yeah. at them from all angles. Yeah. No, sorry, we've, we've, we've double booked, you know, we've got the, the Cancer Research Society coming in. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> all the tea and scones. <laughs> no. uh, yes, it yeah. Great. I, I do love Norfolk. I used to go to Wells Next to Sea a lot to Pinewoods campsite. Um, it's not, it's all posh pictures now. I used to go when it's just a field, and you know yeah. you can pitch anywhere. And I, I don't even know if I take tents anymore. Yeah, I have to be trying to remember on Beckles. Yes, Beckles is the other one. They've got church in Beckles now. Yeah. You got the, the steeple, haven't you? The church, yeah. And then normally on a church steeple, you get the clock at the top, yeah. And it's on four, on the four sides, yeah. Oh Again. yeah, fine, yeah. yeah. The tower, yeah. Yeah, on the, on the tower. The one at Beckles has only got three. Okay. It's deliberately done. It's got three because the the one on the the fourth one is facing Norfolk, right? And the Suffolk people that built the church in Beckles, because Beckles is in Suffolk, didn't want the Norfolk people to know the time. 
I love it. That is actually a towel. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, they didn't want the, the Norfolk people to know the time, so they didn't put a Yeah, on. You, can, you can get that with the village, can't you? Because yeah. village are quite, yeah. yeah. I've lived in a village. It's quite an experience. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. then, like, a really historic village from, like, years ago, yeah, you can, mm. what so, is it, about 1700s or something, the church? Yeah, it's an old church. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. um, yeah it's but... quite, quite a tell. <laughs> So uh, Eric says on TV shows where they say, I just saw a shadow move over there. How am I supposed to believe that person, the camera not pointing that way? That's it. Yeah. And, and talking about TV shows as well. Yeah. Um, and they all do it. They've got a camera in the room. Yeah. And they, they hear a knock on the door on the outside. But there's not a camera on the outside. No. That's right. What's that, you know? But they know. The, the, and then they go, oh, yeah, this is this happens a lot in, in this hotel, uh, in room 13. So you there's think a way to knock at the door. Sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if there's a knock at the door, why don't you put a camera on the outside? That's right. Yeah. That's it. You know, if you're using cameras, to me... I'd have had a camera on the inside and a camera on the outside just to... Yeah. Um, we had an interesting one. Um, I was at um, Newark Civic... Oh, God, Newark Civil War Museum. And I was there with Tom Warrington and Barry John and some others. And there was, like, there was an exhibition room. And then it had a little cinema at the end. Mm -hmm. And it got these strong double doors into the cinema... So we're in like the exhibition bit, and there seemed to be a lot going on in the cinema. <laughs> so we walked into there, and we all sat down. I don't wake up. <laughs> My heart just missed a beat, and all of a sudden, it's <laughs> demon. <laughs> yeah, demon. Demon. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we went into this cinema area, and um, the door wouldn't shut properly. So what Barry did, he put his chair up against the door. But Tom Warrington put a camera the other side of the door. And there is footage available. Hmm. We were just, I don't know, calling out. The door got shoved into Barry John's back. He shot up and Tom Warrington had footage. And you could see that nobody pushed it. Yeah. And I, I forgot all about that. Wow. Yeah, and, you know, he, he, you know he'd, he'd thought to actually get... Hmm. A shot, you know, because there's like things happening in one room. So yeah. we went into there and it seemed like things had moved on to back into that room, which often happens, doesn't yeah. it? As yeah, well. I mean, we all do it. I mean, we're all guilty of taking cameras in and shutting the door and then the door oh. opening, you know, but uh, we don't see what's actually opened the door on yet. So we're all guilty of it. But uh, if yeah. if you know that's that is phenomena that's going to happen then well yeah it's common sense isn't it yeah. Yeah. yeah it really is ring cameras yeah there's, there's so you know the camera's situation now you know there's so many of them and they're cheap as well aren't they yeah for yeah. better quality than you used to get but yeah. um so yeah. is it bungay that has the legend of the black shook is it Bungie that has the legend of the Black Shuck? Black Shuck is all over Norfolk and Suffolk and beyond. Uh, it's not just in one town. We haven't got one in Nottingham. It's, we, uh, we've got Robin Hood. Mm, yeah, you've got Robin Hood. We've got, we've got Robin, you've got Hood. Robin Hood. We, we've got a black dog. No, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, Black Shuck goes all over. Black uh, Shuck, I should say, or Shuck. Goes all over. I mean, he he, he wanders lower stuff. Sharon's actually heard him. I will say that. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, Fantastic. we was doing an investigation on the seafront. We was going down the old um, gun emplacements. All right. And parked the car up. I had the boot open. Sharon and her sister said, "Oh, we're going to go down the front to watch the waves crashing." Yeah, I love that. Started. So I said, okay. 
So I'm sort of like sorting a few few bits of equipment. Next minute I hear Sharon and her sister come running back from the seat. We've heard him, we've heard him, we've heard him. What? We've heard him, we've heard him. So I said, what, what, what's about? She went, didn't you hear it go completely silent? I went, no. I said, I've, been, I've heard a dog bark here and there and the birds. And she went, no, it went completely silent. Then, then there was this awful howling, hissing howl. Oh, my God. Wow. And I went, no, I never heard it, darling. Now, Bless you. for everybody that obviously knows Sharon. Yeah. She's deaf in one ear. Oh, yeah, okay. So if Sharon says to me, especially on investigations, I've heard something. Yeah, it's a different way, something. yeah. Um, yeah. And Sharon, Sharon will never, um, you know, never embellish anything. She never has, she never will. If she's heard it, she's heard it, you know. We've, yeah. we'll, we'll go on uh, investigations yeah. and she was saying. Kelly. I'm blank. Nothing's nothing's happened because uh, I haven't heard it. You know. Yeah. But if she hears it, she'll go. There you go. So yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so, right because people can hear because they're on a different like wavelength, aren't they? Yeah. You know, different level. Um, yeah, we've got yeah. a comment here from Kate. Um, is that Pakefield or lower stuff along the seafront? It's been sighted a few times there. Yeah, Pakefield along Pake. Been sighted along Pakefield. It's also been sighted along those stuff right the way through. Um, and we was actually, if you know the area, we was actually just about half a mile away to on the left of Bird's Eye. So that's sort of that area on the seafront, checking out the. The gun, well, we was going to check out the old gun emplacements. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, I, I've not really encountered anything, but I was in a tunnel um, close to a sort of lime works or something near an estate in Leicestershire. And we're in this tunnel, and uh, my friend heard this growl, and he just kind of um, hurried quick. And I was like, what? <laughs> They were like, did you hear that? No, but he, he has tinnitus. Mm. So he, he picks things up on a different level as well. Yeah. So he was like, oh, my God. And I was like, yeah, okay, what? Well. I mean, <laughs> I'll just go and pick this up and I like, meander down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, 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 that, that's the old, the old thing about investigations, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You know, you can have two people like that standing next to each other like that. That person would hear something. Yeah. That person won't hear nothing. This one here won't hear nothing. So, oh, so we've got um, Helena. Hey, you okay? And the kids and Alex. Um, Pakefield Beach has a lot of spirits. We've been to the old Victorian bride. The, hey? um, there's a spirit of a soldier that was drunk and was showing off and fell from the bridge. Yeah, we've seen a lot around there. Yeah, they're actually yeah. do. They're actually. Believe it, they're actually uh, redoing the bridge over there, over there, because it's now they've now they've now deemed it dangerous. <laughs> you know. Oh God, I hate that. <laughs> no, yeah. um, I've got these um, d uh, w w two bunkers near me, and someone's just purchased their land, and they've just suddenly closed all the footpaths off. So, um, I don't know if I got access to them anymore. Um, it's Hel Helena King. Yeah. No, sort of, because it's falling down. Um, Kate, um, her nan was stationed near there in World War Two. Nan and Grandad met. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, wow. Very nice. I bet they see a few sides in World War Two over the lower stuff. Oh, God, yeah. Dear me. That's scary, and, isn't it? Because, um, Apart from London, it was, and obviously the major cities, they used, the Germans used to, when they used to go back, if they were too heavy, they would drop the bombs on the lower stuff. Oh, my God. Never knew that. Mm. So, Helena's at oh. like Colville, so. I, yeah. admit, I know that name, Helena King. You do? Yeah, yeah. Of Alex. 
Well, I might be able to just up the road from you. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to meet up with Helen there and Alex sometime. Yeah. Cause, uh, place. It was the American Ghost Hunter show, wasn't it, Helena? What Alex did. Um, on to Paranormal Warehouse. You know what? We ought to sort that out. All of us just meet up down low, soft direction. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll have to sort something out next year. Come down. Because I need to get the dog in the, um, yeah, kennels, holiday. He'll want to go on a holiday, but this year, yeah. I'm just, he's got too many holidays holiday. planned. <laughs> the dog's got too many holidays planned this year, <laughs> so um, I can't plan any more for him. <laughs> Don't tell the dog. <laughs> he doesn't mind. <laughs> but they put a squeaky, they put a box of squeaky toys outside, just that, so you can play with them. So, yeah, they really look after him because he's, they call him quite sensitive, so that's why I can only go there. So, uh, no, no. so yeah. Have you been to Rivenhall in Essex? Rivenhall, Rivenhall, Rivenhall. Don't believe that I have. Rivenhall oh, doesn't no. ring a bell. Uh, Wayne yeah. might have done. Yeah, I don't know if Wayne's still around. He's got his own show now, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's got to do his Dark yeah. Mirror show now. Yeah, that starts yeah. at nine thirty. So I'll just go and upset him on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, crush Wayne. Let's go. Let's go and wind him up. Yeah. Everybody on this there who's listening to this, we're going over the Dark Mirror show now. We're going to wind him up. Yeah. Is it possible to wind Wayne up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> if that yeah. if you know if he can sit doing a radio show dressed up as a woman oh that was so much. funny oh my yeah. god yeah i yeah. forgot her name oh my god he was so brilliant wait wait oh. i forgot i'm shocking with names um, my, weren't my neck was it no 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 right good name yeah uh <laughs> yeah. yeah i couldn't believe yeah. it violet Le something oh. wouldn't it yeah <laughs> yeah that was it yeah that's what hey, he's here oh no he's listening to yeah. us <laughs> he's still here. Why, well, you got your radio show <laughs> your dark show. Le yeah <laughs> leblanc <laughs> Le <Bonk. laughs> no it's stunning yeah definitely yeah see what i mean yeah that was so funny though wasn't it was that the halloween special or christmas or that yeah it's just too if funny you can sit, as I say, if you can sit and do a radio show dressed up as a woman you ain't gonna get wound up <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was legendary that's true yeah yeah well, I'm, I'm used to dressing up anyway i do panto so uh oh okay so wayne's got some uh, voiceover stuff to do Obviously, you're not doing it at the moment, are you, Wayne? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to Gary. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to meet. Oh my god, I can't wait to meet to meet up in like June. It's just going to be cool again, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> um, looking forward yeah. to it. Uh, yeah, say, same as last year. Stressful, but once it's here. Yeah, be, that's it. Yeah, you know, like everyone's got your back as well, haven't they? Yeah. You know, you've got your good team oh. behind you, and, you know. So, I mean, there I was uh, last year, the big event when I, yeah, <laughs> the big event. Oh, that's <laughs> Get to the Saturday. There I am, I give the big speech. Sorry, folks, that is... Oh, it. my Even God. Though. That was... Oh, my God. That, everyone was nearly crying, weren't they? It was yeah. like... I first can't, time carry, I can't carry on no more. I've got too much going on in my life. I'm retiring. And I know, bless the you. Room was just in, the room just went in floods. And yeah. Well, that just wasn't the end of it because the floodgates just opened on my Facebook Messenger and I had so many messages saying, you cannot retire. Uh, You're not allowed to retire. What are we going to do if you retire? Yeah. And this was like from, this from well-known people as well, you know, weren't just, weren't just my guests that come 
records clock work it was like you know people that i wouldn't have even thought would have asked me not to retire and then sharon was getting them as well so really yeah, me and sharon went me and sharon went oh well okay <laughs> let's come out of retirement my retirement <laughs> lasted one week <laughs> one week <laughs> yeah but how long have you been going as a team because like well, I don't. I'd always heard of you, but I, you know, you you always like were you like Norfolk Direction or mm. East Anglia Paranormal. Yeah, that's it. That's that's a clue, isn't it? East Anglia. So that's East why you Paranormal know, Investigation. Yeah, he's been going for thirteen years. Wow. Um, I've been doing it since I was knee eye to the knee eye to a cricket, and my old name would say. Oh, fantastic! Oh, I've you know, I'm, I'm born with you know with what I do. So. Yeah, oh, it's just so wonderful, you know, and you're just a great team. You really are, and um, yeah, and you, you. you you let people get on with it as well. Yeah. You know, you don't force people to like. I went to an event. Oh God, it was awful. So, like, we split into four groups and we did four vigils, and each one we had a choice between table tipping or Ouija board. That don't work with me. I'm sorry. I, I mean, probably thought it was of... a bit grumpy because, like, that. Nah. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got, got quite a few of the people that come along week in, week out. Yeah, that's it. You know? Or month in, month out. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, if they're never. If we get new people come on board and they've never been on investigations, then I'm going to take them and I'm going to show them the ropes. But why am I going to take seasoned investigators and my regular guests and try to try to teach them how to suck eggs? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's it. Gonna do it. You that's know, right. At the end of the day, I hire I hire the location. You buy the ticket, so you can go and investigate that. And that that is brilliant, you know, the flexibility, and that's what I do. I hire venues, and then I invite people just to come along, and yeah. you know, maybe like the first vigil we'll do together, then we can split off. But Matlock, um, we kind of stay together for a little longer because we had um, a bit of a well, bad energy with us. So. <laughs> I normally, we stayed together for a bit, but yeah. I mean, before just, COVID, like, before COVID hit the country. Oh God, yeah. I, I used to do, I used to do circle with everybody. Awesome. A big, big circle with everybody, just to get everybody involved. I found doing a circle, yeah. got everybody involved, and they were things were things were happening when I was doing this, uh, and people went, "Wow, well, uh, you know." And they were trying to work it out, and they were talking to each other where they wouldn't normally talk talk to each other. It breaks the ice. It breaks the ice. It brings people together. So that's why I did it. And then once we did that, it was they would just, just go want to do it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that that's how I start. You know, you just get together, and yeah. it is the start of an event is always like, oh, no one knows each other, and you just got to break the ice somehow, that's haven't it. you? You know, and then you can sort of get on and just get on with it. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, uh, it's going back to the old, well, my old age. Did, a lot of our guests that come along come in month in, month out. Yeah. But they don't see each other for a month. That's right. The full so, relationships, don't yeah. they? So it's then, it's breaking the ice for those two people that haven't seen each other for a month. It's not yeah. like being, seeing your neighbour every day and talking to your neighbour or seeing your family, you know. It's not like meet, meeting some of your guests on uh, Friday. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, am I meeting you on Friday? Um, you going to Hinkley? I'm going to Hinkley, yes. Oh, God, I'll meet you Friday. <laughs> I forgot you were going. Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. Well, see see you on Friday. I think, yeah. I think <laughs> I'm... Um, I about that. I think I'm one, one of three men going. <laughs> oh my god! I I totally forgot you were going. Yeah, me and Sharon uh, are going to Hinkley on yeah, Friday. So yeah, so it it is like um EAPI reunion, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think there's um. Not much. Who, who got got me? 
Sharon, Sarah, Mark, Carl. Karen. Um, Karen's Mark, going, obviously. Karen. And then you've got Peter and Julie. This end. Yeah. Six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> EIP, EAP, I day out, yeah. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. And uh, I have I haven't been to that location for absolutely ages. <laughs> no, well, uh, at least I left I left at nine nine o'clock last night. Well, no, after nine. So yeah, at least twelve hours ago. I yeah, been, yeah, I know. I did um I did kind of tell him like you've got a hen party, you know. And one was oh god, one was quite nasty last night because it was teen night, and one one of the lads was feeling pain. And it's like go away, leave him alone. You know what I mean, like. The spirits were really nice, you mm. know, but this particular one was being a right sadistic. And you kept telling him to get stuffed. And in the end, we, we got the lad out of the room, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. no, you don't you, you don't want him to have to fight, you know. But, yeah, <laughs> but it was that quite, it was quite, um, it's sort of room, just it anyway. Area. Out the hey? room, out the area. Take him out the room, out the area, out the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we did because, um, his mum's got a team anyway, so he does go out with his mum. So he is sort of used to yeah. sort of working with that anyway. But yeah, you, you know, you want a good experience. To, well, we, we had done it before. So, but yeah, he thought, oh no, go away, come back next week. We'll be ready for you. Try yeah. it next week. Um, we'll, um, come on, come right. back. We'll, you know, <laughs> come back. We'll sort you out. Yeah. Bring it on <laughs> and you right. take us on. But yeah, um, it has been particularly active recently so Good. fingers crossed yeah i'm looking forward to him oh uh, like... yeah I, I just forgot that you were going yeah mm. it's gonna be so cool <laughs> i think that was last year was it i think it was last year we went i think yeah first first time we went and we haven't been back since so looking yeah. forward going twice this year so yeah you are in may may as well aren't you mm. yeah so yeah, May the thirteenth, I believe. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, all tickets sold, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's right. I don't actually know. I might actually have a ticket, and I can't make it. But I, whatever, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. So if I did, I'm, I'm not. So that's it. If I've got a ticket, I don't care. I'm not going anyway. So. I know. I'm good to uh, Eurovision uh, weekend know. away. With my friends, we're, we've uh, hired somewhere, nice. so nice. yeah, it's just a bit of a drinking session and no. you know, centre yeah. parks, centre parks, so something different. Yeah, something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, and then um, when you get home, you do go. I really did wish I went out investigating. Well, actually, it's near Sherwood Forest, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you had that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um. Yeah. yeah, I might have to sneak out into the woods at night. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. yeah, you know, sometimes you have to break the parent. You know, I've been doing so many doubles recently. You do have um, to have a break. I've, I've got a double next week as well. So, well, you know what I'm doing Friday mm. and Saturday's Derby Jail. So, yeah, I'm quite, yeah, <laughs> busy. I'm from home. Yeah. That's it. But um, it's just been wonderful speaking to you anyway. You're welcome. And, I've enjoyed uh, it. Yeah, uh, yeah, see you on Friday. <laughs> see you on Friday. Right? <laughs> and anybody sure? else out and if there's anybody else out there that's watching this now that are going Friday, we'll see you Friday. We'll see you Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, it's, it's a hand party. And, oh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting night. Isn't it? <laughs> and... No, I'm not going to be dressing up as a woman because it's a hen party. <laughs> My name is not Wayne. <laughs> God, yeah, if Wayne was going, he'd dress up, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he'd be wearing, wearing a dress and we'd all be wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> Madame LeBlanc, yeah. you will be at the way. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thanks so much for the chat, Gary, and yeah. Welcome. Um, looking forward to Friday anyway. But... Looking forward. Right, let's just get this in perspective. <laughs> You're looking forward to Friday. You're looking forward to Parafest. What other ones are you on? <laughs> well, yeah, there's loads, <laughs> isn't there? Oh, my God, no. Oh, no. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's Wayne doing speech or Violet. No. no. <laughs> well, I don't know, though. It could break the <laughs> It could break the ice. It could break the ice. Keep people awake after lunch. 
after lunch where everyone's like filled the faces and like then you get violet there <laughs> with a whip <laughs> wake madame, up <laughs> madame le Bonk does a circle <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah we've got Bless so many you. good things planned really it's, yeah <laughs> but I'm, yeah I'm okay it. so um... i'm gonna say it now on that note <laughs> good night <laughs> good night and thanks for watching take care everyone and goodbye stay safe if you <laughs>